Alright guys, it's Best Studios here, and today we're going to be reviewing Brian Azzarello's and Lee Bergamo, not saying that right, is Joker. Alright guys, so, I did it, alright guys, um, okay, so, uh, this book is told from the perspective of, um, J Joker, one of Joker's henchmen, um, features only s very small amount of Batman in this, uh, only a couple panels of Batman, um, it's more just about Johnny Frost's journey, more than Joker's, I'd say, uh, Joker's really m a supporting character in this book, but, um, this is pretty darn good, pretty darn good if I do say so myself, um, one issue I do have with the book is that some panels are, uh, have, they're, uh, drawn, and even, like, I would have loved to see the whole book just painted, like, I love these, uh, these painted ones, and, and just, uh, so, and we're just gonna go over the bad stuff first, uh, Harley Quinn doesn't speak in this book, even though she seems really awesome, um, I feel like she could have been a cool supporting character in this book, um, nothing makes too much sense, it's a little jumbled, but not too much, um, and the ending just feels out of place, because we don't get a clear resolution to what happens with Batman and the Joker, uh, which I guess works for this book. The positives, I love the interpretation of the characters, how realistic they are, Riddler, Penguin, and Killer Croc, um, their cameos were pretty cool to see and to see how they interact with Joker in this universe. Uh, pretty much everyone's just terrified of Joker. And they do bring up the argument, yes, you can kill Joker, but you're too scared, too. Um, Johnny Frost was, like, kind of just a, eh, character for me. And I get that he's just supposed to be the layout. Um, I do like some of his, uh, his, actually, I like a lot of his scenes, um, too, um, yeah, I, l I just love the book in general, um, there's a lot of good things to say about this book, uh, I'd go out and pick it up, I mean, I personally would go out and pick this up, uh, it's not all that much about Joker, but I think you'll still love it, I only read this thing in about, like, an hour at most, um, so, no, this is not a long book where you're gonna read for, like, hours and hours, but, um, you will got, get a lot of enjoyment out of this, um, and the art's beautiful, so. Um, Johnny Frost is a weird character, the Joker, I feel, is portrayed really awesomely, uh, this cover is one of my favorite comic book covers, but I do have an issue with this. Joker looks like... Heath Ledger, which I know that they were working on this book first, and the movie took inspiration from that, or it was just a coincidence, but that's all I can think about, kind of, when I'm reading this book. Um, now on my second reading, I stopped thinking about it as much, but, mmm, um, I do love the design for Harley Quinn, also, and I love how the Joker is, like, depressed, and never really laughs, um, but, yeah, so... Oh, and I like how they're interpreted as more of mobsters. Not really super villains, but just mobsters. Um, I would love to see another book in this universe with some of the more villain or some of uh, the villains, some more of them. But, um, yeah, uh, Lazy Studios, out.